Today's art lesson is Water Bottle Babies, which is inspired by my brand new little granddaughter and also a continuation of Grandma's Quilt from last year. We all know babies love blankets. Kaylee's great-grandmother's knitted blanket has a special pattern on it. Can you see that? And then the blanket that Kaylee's brother gave to her has all kinds of designs that you can use to inspire you on your own little quilt that you're going to make out of the tissue paper. There's animals, like an alligator, see that? And stripes and polka dots, and there's even a monkey. You see that? Really interesting patterns. Just look around you, there's all kinds of patterns you can use to inspire you on your quilt. Kaylee's wearing a beautiful pink outfit with little pink roses and a beautiful bow. Maybe you'd like to dress up your water baby in a really special design. Look how pretty she looks. Just drink up the water in your water bottle. Then with your empty water bottle, just take your markers and start drawing a face. There's my little girl water baby. Now my little boy water baby. I'm using just markers. There's his eyes. Just a red mouth for him. There's his mouth. Pretty light. These are washable markers. The permanent markers tend to work a little bit better. But then again, you can change your mind and just wash the face off, off and then start again. Now let's make the blanket. Just take some Kleenex, facial tissue, open it up. This is the one I did, I used nine squares and then what I did is I just glued them right on the sides like this. This is a finished quilt and what I did is I just glued Kleenexes, the squares together on the sides with Elmer's glue and I used all different kinds of patterns to decorate. So let me show you from the beginning. Let's see, we had in my little Kaylee's quilt, what pattern shall we use? Well, you know what, maybe, I like those green alligator. So I'm going to make little alligators. So this one was just circles and little squares for a pattern that's repeated that I uh, used the great grandmother's blanket as inspiration. And then this one with the alligators, I chose the cute little alligator that's on that blanket that my grandson Caleb had given to his sister that was his. See, it's repeated. So it's really wonderful to just get inspiration from patterns you see around you. You can make your blanket 
bigger by just attaching more squares of Kleenex. And what I did is I just took a strip of glue just on the sides like that and you just attach it like that. And then of course up here I'll just add the glue here. Just wait for it to dry. You can keep attaching, making it bigger and bigger. Now you have a nice blanket for your water bottle baby. So make sure she's warm. See? This is what I made out of the recycled water bottle. I made my water bottle babies. All you need is the water bottle, empty of course after you've drinking it, drinking the water out of it, and then markers. I used um, Crayola washable markers and I also used a permanent marker that seems to work a little bit better for like the eyes and the mouth. With these, I just went ahead and drew the faces on. And then what I did was the hair. I took one piece of Kleenex and I divide, decided I was gonna divide one portion for one doll and one for the other. So I took the Kleenex and Kleenex and it's already there's already it's been folded I took this line and I took my scissors and I just it's amazing how easy it is to cut out the hair from the Kleenex just cut it in half like this for the little boy water bottle baby I decided that I would um cut shorter strips for his hair like this not going all the way to the top just leaving enough like this so this is going to be his hair can you see that just strips cut super easy The more jagged it is, too, it looks more real, like hair. Not perfect. See, I'm just cutting up so that I have enough there on the top left. Because I'm just going to stuff the top of the water bottle. I'm just going to stuff the hair in. Super easy. Might take a little bit of practice. You might need to do it a couple times if you have trouble with it tearing. And then just went ahead and took the marker and drew lines like the hair, like this. And then I flipped it over like this. I like the way the marker bleeds through. See, is it looking more like hair? See how I'm just slightly lightly drawing in her hair however you want I like to have a textured like hair just lines then for the arms all I did for that Kleenex so you want the long arms right so you start just rolling and then what I did is I took the tape And I just glued it, or not glued, but taped around. Like. All I did with the little boy's pants, or bottom layer of his clothes, is I just um, folded the tissue paper. And 
I just started drawing. I decided I wanted them to have checkers. You can make whatever patterns you want. She's wearing an apron, just a little portion, a little square with hearts for the top portion of her apron or her dress. I think I did both sides. See how it bleeds through nice? You don't even really need to do both sides depending on how you want how short you want her skirt or dress portion, maybe nice and long, like that. And I just taped the back, and then I just cut a little square and taped that on, and I drew little, little hearts. Maybe even a rainbow design, just like I showed you how to do some designs on the blanket that you might want to use with your water babies. And then just fitted it in like that and just taped it. So cute. And then I had been thinking too, I'd like to put a little bow on her. How would I make a bow? I could just make a bow just with a basic, just folding it like this, crinkling it like that. You see that? And I just folded it and then it kind of looks like a bow if you kind of crinkle the middle of it like that. If you need a little bow, take a little piece of tape. boner here let's see here okay so with this all you do <laughs> was so fun I just stuck it right in there <laughs> look at that how convenient you can even make it flatter by sticking the top <laughs> like oh So, you see that? And it actually, you can twist it on because the Kleenex is so thin. <laughs> so hilarious. And what the funny thing about it is for the eyes, this you don't need to put, but it was sticky with the other one. And I just cut out the, the um, eyes from the sticky part of the label. I challenged my grandson after he had drank the water out of his bottle. I, I asked him, why don't you make a toy with just a few items around the house? Let's see what you can come up with. And he came up with a really cute axolotl. Here we go. Introducing my grandson, Caleb. And he had his own ideas of what he wanted to make out of his recycled water bottle. What did you make, honey? I made a axolotl out of a bottle and even some tissue paper. Let's see, it's super cool. Is that the mouth mm -hmm. and the eyes? And these are the gills and his tail. Very nice. I think it looks just like an axolotl. Project.
course. I think she's gonna inspire a lot of new, new projects coming up here soon, don't you? Today we are going to make blankets out of facial tissue. The title of this lesson is called Grandma's Blanket. This is a little illustration of me when I was making a blanket for my grandson. And this is an example when he was born, the little blanket I made for him. And I designed it and I just thought, hmm, be kind of fun to pretend my classes are making blankets and designing their own blanket with tissue paper and markers. So I'm going to show you how easy it is and I hope you have some fun doing it. All it is is markers and tissue paper. The only tricky part about this project is you got to be real gentle with the tissue paper or blanket because we don't want it to rip. I'd like you to use your imaginations and just design a brand new blanket or you can think back in your past or maybe even now you have a special blanket that you like and you'd like to make the same blanket out of the tissue paper. So you know what? The colors are so vibrant when you um, use it on the tissue paper. I'm gonna give you an example of what I did right here. See how it kind of bleeds into the tissue paper? Or maybe you'd like to do some lines. We could maybe make it into like a plaid blanket, like this. Whatever you want. I think a lot of colors look good. Let me see, maybe we like to do little stars. Like that. It's whatever you feel like doing. What else? Ooh, I like the orange. Let me see. Maybe a jagged edge like that. Kind of makes a different mark on it. Maybe I'd like to use a little bit of red and color around this blue, different effect. So I want you all to just use your own imaginations, use the colors you like, experiment with it. I know that Kleenex or tissue, facial tissue paper is part of your supplies, so you could do quite a few of them. Just kind of gives you a little bit of an idea how easy it is and how fun it is. Real cool effect. Now I'm gonna go ahead and glue it onto the poster and I want you all to go ahead and have fun with this project. Okay, now what I'd like you to do is uh, go ahead and glue your blankets onto a sheet of paper. You know what I've been thinking? Maybe I'm gonna try to put my name on one of them. That's kind of a cool effect. You might wanna glue that closed though. Okay, make sure you get both of your pieces glued down nicely to your piece of paper. That's the end of the project. Hope you have fun. Bye-bye. Grandma's blanket or 
I think the blanket looks a lot like a quilt out of watercolor. And um, this is an example. First, what we're going to do is we're going to fold our paper into eight rectangles and then we're going to color them each with the eight different colors in your watercolor box. And then I'm going to show you how you can make different beautiful patterns. Take a piece of paper, fold it in half, nice and tight, and fold it again like this. And then fold it again. And open it up. Can you see the different rectangles? And then you might want to put your paper, it's gonna get super wet on top of some paper towel to dry. And you'll see the illustrations in the video. Have fun.